Hey friends, today we're gonna smash the fluff out of those hefty price tags. I went online today to Chanel's website to check out some stuff and I went ahead and made some calculations to see how their pricing worked and how broken their calculator might be and show you how overpaying is overrated in leather shopping. So, I was browsing online to see some zippered wallets with very classical designs and I ran into one of their very common uh, models here and the price tag over there was a wow factor for me. I tried to read into the description but I couldn't find anything more than this. It says grain calf skin and gold tone metal black and below that it says contact an advisor and I did. Once I click on it there was a phone number and I called in. It was a very pleasant conversation. It was a very nice lady trying to help me and I asked her what is the leather on this material and she said it's she basically read the instructions there and the green cough green cough skin gold tone metal zipper so i i asked is it full grain top grain she's like i wouldn't be able to tell you this is what i see here but it's baby cough skin it is really good and inside is leather too i ask what is the leather inside and there wasn't any information on her end either. So there is not much description on the website or when you call. And then I came to the price tag. I said, it says $1,200 on my end. Why is it so expensive? Because I found similar comparable wallets in the market for about $100, $150. It's almost like one tenth of the price. And she said it's because of the quality of the materials, it's the baby calf skin, it's the lamb skin, this is the only thing we use. And also he said it's very quality made. I said, is there anything else besides the leather? Because I kind of know how much leather costs, but I'm trying to see like what other specialties, is there a technology to it? Is there some other thing comes with it? There was no other answer. At some point we come back to the quality leather and they, she mentioned caviar leather, which was very interesting. I never heard of it. I asked what's caviar leather? And she said, okay, let me look. And then went into her um, documentation, I believe. And the answer was, oh, we call this grain calf skin caviar leather. So it's like a, a different name for the same leather we're looking at. And I know what is this leather. It is uh, probably the calf leather as they claim, which I wouldn't be able to tell from this because it's it's embossed with a press on it. Uh, there is a thick layer of uh, plastic acrylic finish to give those pebbles, almost like the basketball leather or the football leather. You see those little pebbles, but it's man-made. It's, it's pressed on it. I can't see the grain below. So it, for my concern in the tannery, I could make this leather out of anything. It could be a cow leather, bull leather, uh, even maybe buffalo that you might not be able to tell once I apply that kind of coverage finish on it. But I take their word for it, it could be calf skin, which is premium of course, but not that expensive. So we make similar wallets. We make one with goat skin, we make one with lamb skin, and we make with cow hides as well. So the calf skin they're talking about probably a good one is about three to five dollars a foot let's give him a, an advantage there let's make it ten ten dollars a foot this wallet can be made in and out leather out of three square foot of leather so that's what we use and if you're spending ten dollars a foot that's thirty dollars in leather costs and the materials we use all the ykk zippers which all the big brands use and let's say it's ten dollars it's not but let's say and we come to 40 it's a labor intense thing. We, we hand stitch these quilts. They do in the automated CNC kind of uh, sewing machines. It's much quicker, but let's say it's labor intense and give it a 20, $30 labor cost too. So we come down to $67 as the cost of this, this wallet. And how do you end up $1,200? So there was no other answer that can go into this calculation to reach that price. I know it's not all about the material and the product here. They have fancy stores, they have great customer service. In fact, I was able to talk to a person, very kind, nice conversation, but it really doesn't justify me to pay $1,200 where I can find it for 120 anywhere. I go on online, I go on Etsy, 
look up some local shops and small craftsmen make very similar typical wallets like that and in fact they use better leather because they find those artisan leathers that you can really connect to you know those are not embossed and printed and all that it could be calf skin it could be lamb skin but you can get really really good leather for one tenth of the price one eighth of the price and enjoy the same item i understand there's a luxury to it you're paying for the brand name but i want to make an analogy to put it in context how much abuse is in leather luxury space in today's environment in comparison to other luxury items let's consider cars right we know uh, the segments of cars and all companies all levels of companies make their own version so very typical um, car companies here I went in to Ford Escape so this is a class in US we say it's a compact crossover SUV uh, class. And this car made by Ford, it's cost starting at $27,000. And I went on to a luxury brand, which is Mercedes, and they have a GLB and it is compact luxury crossover. So the only thing changes in the segment, they add, they add the luxury and it is. So, I check how much this is. This is $3,800, $3,600 starting price. So the price difference is about $10,000 more. And if you ever seen a Ford and a Mercedes, you know you're getting quite a bit of more from the Ford as well when you get a Mercedes. There's more technology, there's more quality materials, there's more comfort to it. And there's the luxury and the status comes with. And you only pay $10,000 to justify this difference this is a level of luxury I understand I have no problem enjoying a sensible luxury at this level but the same thing here your local craftsman make this and put a price tag of 120 or 200 dollars on this wallet to get a reasonable profit out of their craft work and on the other hand this luxury brand marks it 10 times they ask you to pay 1200 dollars and it's not even any addition on top of it. The, the, the leather is not higher quality, the craftsmanship probably not higher quality, and there's no technology to it. So where does the difference comes from? I know they have fancy stores, I know their sales force and all that, billboards and fashion shows, but I'm not buying those, I'm not buying the stores, I'm not buying the fashion shows, I'm buying the wallet. So how do you justify paying that difference? In my opinion, this is well abused in leather space. The luxury name is well abused in, in, in leather space. And it's highly, highly overrated to overpay for leather crafts. This was my entire point of this research today. And I wanted to share you this uh, entire experience. Hopefully this makes sense for some of you and understand the calculations behind these hefty price tags from the luxury leather brands. And this helps you become a more savvy leather shopper going forward and save a lot of money um, carrying around good leather stuff. If you like the content like this and see want to see more of it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to get notified every time we post new content. Thank you.